believe I found it. I have finally found the God Mod. God has abandoned us. The popular YouTuber mod brought to you by yours truly making units throw billions of projectiles. Finally, with the power of this mod, I can defeat that stupid one punch man. Or, well, I better. We'll see. No, oh, man, I can't wait. Saitama's gonna get wrecked. Which map should I use to destroy One Punch Man? You know what? Let's just start a legacy. I mean, this place gives me all the room I need to cause absolute mayhem. So there's a couple different Saitamas I could use for this experiment, but we're gonna use the pretty much official one. The one created by Grad. This Saitama right here, who's practically immortal. Honestly, he's actually almost too overpowered, not gonna lie. For example, I could take something like a boatload of Artemises, and I'll, I'll, I'll throw some more over here, right? And then I'll throw some over here. And just, this is just for control test. Look at that. Look at this man dodge. It's insane. He decimates this army just so quickly. You ever play dodgeball as a kid? I was a dodgeball champion, and there's no way I could be like this. This is insane. Though if we played dodgeball with arrows, that would be a whole different class. So regular gods stand no chance against Saitama. He's far too strong. He's far too powerful. Look at him dodge. Look at that. He's like a jiggly jiggly man. This dude's got some serious side hops. And now he's decimating the last of her Artemis army. What does one Artemis think she's going to do against the One Punch Man? Yeah, where to go, Artemis? Do you see him? Found him. Regular Artemises. They're strong, but we're gonna we're gonna delete them. They're gone now. Goodbye. So instead, we're going to our lovely mod, and we're gonna type in ammo. I'm gonna go from one ammo to eleven ammo. Spread. We're not gonna modify the spread. Recoil. We're definitely not modifying the recoil. Attack speed. We'll leave it alone. And now I'm actually gonna take the exact Artemises we just had, and I'm gonna summon a group over here and a group over here. And a group over here. Now these Artemises are firing 11 arrows instead of one. And they're in giant chunks of arrows. You can see that Saitama is becoming far more of a pincushion than he was before. As 11 arrows are striking him for every one arrow. And that doesn't matter. He punched one pile. He serious punched the other. And now he's slowly dancing his way to this pile of Artemises. It's useless. It's pointless. We need to go even bigger numbers. We need... Even bigger number. Let me just go over here and uh, slap down Saitama right there. Perfect. Looks great. And let's go to a uh, uh, 50 ammo and uh, uh, one spread. We'll do one spread. Zero recoil and regular attack speed. That's that's great. It's gonna be great. Nothing's gonna go wrong. And this time we're gonna go with regular old um, archers, right? Just just these guys here, regular archers. And I'm gonna summon a beautiful ring of archers. Now this is gonna be fantastic. Each arrow is actually gonna be 50 arrows and the arrows are all gonna fire at once and you'll feel a little bit of lag in the game when it fires. All right, all right, are you ready, Saitama? There's a lag and there's the 50 arrows. Pause, look at that. Each archer fired 50 arrows, and they're all aimed at Saitama's belly, or what was Saitama's belly, now Saitama's doing his side hops thing. Seriously, could you not even give them a chance, Saitama? And the side hop, he dodged every single arrow. I like how they made this really cool ring of arrows, that's actually fantastic. If only they landed on Saitama, though it seems a few may have caught his hand. That's great, look at that, that's wonderful. And now his consecutive normal punches has decimated that entire army. Or and then the serious punch destroys the rest. You know what you need, Sama? You need a little bit of control. Yeah, we're gonna take this to the simulation map. Oh, no, no, the arena. Here we are on the arena, and I'm actually gonna change the line. The line is no longer going to be straight. It's actually going to be a ring. And poor One Punch Man shall be placed in the center of the ring. Why would I put you in the middle of an arena, Saitama? Don't worry about it. Everything's going to be fine. And now we need to find a way to control Saitama. The harpooners are exactly that control. If we take the harpooners and we just go around just like this. Now he is surrounded 360 degrees by people that want to crowd control him, including the long neck harpooner and the really short harpooner. This is what happens when all the harpooners fire on Saitama and the majority of them miss again in this really beautiful fanning direction. And this is the result I expected from regular everyday harpooners. They're doing a decent job of controlling him, but Saitama's quite strong strong and he just burrows his way through all these minions. But what if we took the harpooners 
and we turn them into gods. Yeah, that serious plunge is a little bit ridiculous. We need to go to an even more Bruh. open map. Look at all the room to play. Now we're talking. Let's grab one bunch man, slap him down in the middle, and uh, no, no, not harpooners. One bunch man. Oh, Saitama, look at the size of this map. There's so much room for activities here. And let's actually test the maximum range of the harpooners. We are going to control Saitama. Now, these harpooners, as you can see, are really far away. The question is, at this distance, at this range, can they reach one punch man? Let's find out. Okay, good. At this distance, they all open fire and they all hit Saitama, but we know how this is gonna end. They didn't do a job. They didn't do a good job. They're actually harpooning each other, flinging each other across the room. One Punch Man is still unfair. Now what I want to do is I want to take the ring and increase it a little bit bigger. So we're going to go one, two, three, four bigger? Harpoon is around. There we go. Now we're doing the size test because the bigger the ring, the more harpooners we can fit in it. Can they all reach? They can all reach. We must go bigger. We are at over a hundred harpooners now. Can they still reach Saitama at this range? They can. Oh my goodness, more than a hundred harpooners. I think a hundred is a perfectly good number, guys. Can a hundred regular harpooners control Saitama? He's there. He's standing in the middle. He's doing his dodges. Oh no, the harpooners are dragging each other in because they're missing each other with the harpoons and Saitama breaks free. 100 normal harpooners are not enough to stop One Punch Man. We have to upgrade the harpooners. Let's start with a harpooner that fires instead of one harpoon, 10 harpoons. Zero spread, zero recoil, one attack speed. Select our harpooners and then place them around One Punch Man. 101 harpooners, just like the 101 Dalmatians and they open fire and look. Look at the sheer number of harpoons. 10 harpoons per shot. Boom, look right there. That's 10 harpoons, and that's 10 harpoons, and that's 10 harpoons, and that's 10 harpoons. And he has been skewered with easily 100 harpoons. Is this enough to control Saitama? Here we go. Slow-mo, full speed. He's there, he's not moving. The harpooners are missing. He's dodging all the shots, and the dodging is causing the harpooners to drag each other to each other, to, to, yeah, drag each other to each other. Sure, why not, that's English. Saitama is still in the middle of the map. He's starting to resist. He's made it to the outer ring and now we have disaster. You guys ever been to your grandma's house where she's got like this sewing set and then she's got this little like pin cushion thing where all the pins are stabbed into? That's Saitama right now. Though I doubt grandma has this many pins and oh, Saitama, your eyes. What's wrong with your eyes? This is quite the moment, I gotta say. Yeah, One Punch Man is about to destroy every single one of these gods. I don't think 10 is enough. I think they need to fire closer to 50 this next time. Let's give it a shot. And we're gonna delete this ring of gods. Goodbye, gods. And this time we're gonna upgrade it to 50 shots with a zero spread, a zero recurl, and a one attack speed. For those of you wondering what the spread looks like, I'll show you later. And now we're gonna summon 100 of these gods. Hopefully they don't ruin my computer considering they're each firing 50 projectiles. This could be a bad idea. 101 Dalmatians, 101 Harpooners firing 50 shots. You've got um hourglass figure Harpooner. Now my new favorite, this guy's waist is tight. And then you got a big brother, Harpooner. Just, just everyone's big brother, he's just so huge. Oh, and you've got little brother, Harpooner. Hey, Hobbit boy. And this Harpooner, this one right here, he has seen some things. His are the eyes of terror. Harpooners, 101 of them, 50 shots a piece. Oh no, 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 no. I activated it and the slow-mo kicked in. Pause, oh please, oh please. I'm scared to let these impact. Here we go. Slow-mo, the impact hitting Saitama. Look at the ring of harpoons around him. Are you kidding me? Oh no, some of the harpoons are missing and they're gonna hit harpooners. I think the distance makes the accuracy a bit of a problem. Full speed, Saitama is looking particularly pin cushiony now. Regular slow-mo and Saitama is still in the middle of the arena, but now the harpoon shots are going in every direction and the harpooners are more likely to hit each other than Saitama. Now, one punch man is unable to close the gap, so he uses a serious punch to clear away one quarter of 
the harpooners. Uh, not gonna lie, I think 50 harpoons per harpooner might have been a mistake. Let's be real, Saitama. I think this whole mod has been a mistake. Ugh, it's like he's being sacrificed to a sacrificial god or something. Let's resume full speed. Oh my god, Saitama, where are you going, buddy? Slow down. I'm gonna do a bird's eye view. We're gonna let this go full speed, and I want to see if Saitama can actually get close to anyone, or the harpoons can do a decent job holding him. No, he has attacked the harpooners. 50 was not enough. Guys, I have a new idea. I have a new idea. It's a great idea. Nothing could ever, 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 ever go wrong. I think our problem is the sheer number of harpooners. They're too far away, and they're missing their shots. And now we're going to shrink the harpoon ring down at this range. How could you miss your shot? We're going to keep it at the 50 for now, and I'm going to do a one spread. I want to see if the spread helps to hit zero recoil one attack speed and then we're gonna place the smaller number of harpooners this is about half as many at 58 harpooners oh now big brother and little brother harpooner are side by side look at that that's cute and uh this harpooner needs a sandwich was this the right idea let's see what happens slow mo activated waiting for the moment everything gets fired here come the harpoons you can actually see that one degree spread as the harpoons start to like split apart a little bit making a tiny like shotgun shell of harpoons and in maximum slow mo you can see them missing the target saitama doing his crazy dodging ability but getting hit in the ribs multiple times by hundreds of harpoons which means the harpoons are now going in every direction and i'd never realized this the harpoon are way too close what have i done <laughs> yep that's a problem that's a problem the harpooners are so close to each other that the harpoons just keep on going skewer each other and bring them close enough for one punch man to do his one punching i regret everything I am filled with nothing but regret. I mean, Saitama clearly has been impacted multiple times by the harpoons. He looks great. He's a pincush. It's fantastic. But so has the rest of the battlefield. Okay, we're going to do stupid. We're going to do a stupid. I I, I regret this. This is gonna this is gonna be fine. I hope this is gonna be fine. Take the circle, expand it. One hundred. Spread five. Recoil none. Attack speed five. This, this, this is bad. This is bad. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I'm definitely scared. 90 harpooners. Spread five. Attack speed five. These guys are going to be vicious. Saitama, I hope you are ready. Waiting for the moment. The harpooners open fire, waiting patiently. There it is. There it is. The lag is hit. We're waiting for the harpoons to attack One Punch Man and hopefully not break my game. There they go, there they go, there they go. The spread of five. Pause. What have I created? And Saitama, how are you gonna dodge this one, bud? Let's watch this one in slow. Whoa, <laughs> he's gone, he's, he's, he disappeared. He's in there somewhere. Hello, Saitama, where are you? Um, you may not believe it, but there is a One Punch Man hiding deep under those pin cushions somewhere. How skewered is he going to be? I think we're about to find out right now. Slow mode, activate. Skewers impact the cameraman. Go through the cameraman, and left behind is a One Punch Man. I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna look at this guy. He seems to be quite impacted. I don't think he can move. It's almost a giant dinner plate of harpoon wires. Giving the harpooners a five. Oh no. Oh no, we attacked the harpooners. The harpooners attacked each other and now they're being dragged into Saitama. If there was a way to make the harpooners immune to their own harpoons, this would be foolproof. We are at full speed and Saitama is just a punching. There's, look, 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 what is going on? There's so many harpoons. I can't tell what's happening, guys. What have we done to totally accurate battle simulator? And I think we need to browse the workshop because somewhere in here is a god that can maybe kill One Punch Man. I so badly want to kill him, you have no idea. Let's do a search type in the word god. And these are the units I'm looking at. How about we sort them by most subscribers in the past month? Okay, there's a lot of Godzillas. Though this god of deaths seems promising. I mean, this unit's just called god maybe he's good oh this one's called god goku goku can do it let's go here we have a uh, god of light sure why not he's called god mode maybe he's awesome 
Clicky. God of the Katana. Just simply got, and he's building pistols. How is that going to kill Saitama? Oh, now we're talking. That's what I think about when I think of a god. God of monkeys? Y you know what? Sure, sure. This one's called God Killer 2.0. Oh, oh, you have my attention. How about God Man? God Almighty, he shall vanquish Saitama and this cool looking god of death. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's put all these gods in a brand new faction. And now we just have to kill Saitama. Right? How hard could it be? Here he is, guys. The wonderful, the powerful Saitama. And Saitama's first opponent will be this guy, the God of Light. He looks like Raiden with, like, butterfly wings. Please tell me you know who Raiden is, please. Let's start this fight. I'm gonna go right up here to Saitama because I want to see what he's going to do. Three, two, one, go. The fight begins. The God, the God of Light didn't even survive one single normal punch just an absolutely embarrassing outcome well saitama i brought you to the pirate faction hoping the sand gets in your shoes and slows you down and this unit is just called god i do not like the haircut it does not give me much confidence and muskets against saitama i don't know dude let's see what god can do against saitama he's keeping his distance summoning what looks like a rocket Storm. Saitama got serious with a super serious punch, and this god went full reaper explosion. Yeah, that did not go according to plan, guys. Now, Saitama, I bring you to the world of the Monkey King. It's a truly beautiful land. And there against you is someone called the God Killer? Though why the God Killer wants to use machine guns, I have no idea. Maybe the sunglasses give him super extra power. Saitama versus the God Killer. Look at the lightning, the wizard spells coming out of the God Killer's guns. Could these be powerful enough to kill Saitama? Also, why the machine gun still ejects bullets when it's firing lightning? I have no idea. Maximum slow mo, the lightning is impacting directly into the chest of One Punch Man, but he doesn't seem to be affected. We move to regular slow mo and he's kind of shaking it off. And our God Killer is backing up. Oh, that's Ice Breath, because, you know, Ice Breath will freeze Saitama, right? One Punch Man shakes off the lightning blast completely ignoring them and proceeds to punch the god killer oh look at the blood he punched out all of his blood oh saitama you're too strong today we bring saitama to the wild wild west and he is versus a beautiful looking god i love the golden scythe i love the helmet lightning bolt and scythe is that enough to kill saitama the fight commences Lightning is being thrown, Saitama, using furious side hops. Oh, Saitama's head is gone. Saitama's head is gone. And yet that's still not enough to actually defeat Saitama, who got too close to our god and destroyed him. One Punch Man can lose his head and still win. Now we are in the Renaissance faction here for Mr. Da Vinci himself. And Saitama's opponent is this crazy looking god. I mean, look, look, look wispy tendrils he looks so powerful there's no way he's gonna lose right the fight begins slow mode is activated saitama is walking forward sword being thrown saitama dodges it another sword impacting right into the stomach of one punch man but he doesn't seem to care and one punch man gets close uses consecutive normal punches and defeats this god apparently the gods that people are creating in the workshop aren't that powerful so far there has to be one god any god that is powerful enough to defeat him so here in the legacy realm i have chosen this godlike creature can he beat saitama let's find out slow motion we're using a time stop ability from god can he actually stop time on one punch man nope saitama Saitama literally ignored time. He's more powerful than time. Consecutive normal punches. God gets wrecked. All is right in the world. One Punch Man versus God of the Katana. Maybe this Japanese God can do the job. Though I gotta say, he looks really, really good. Saitama, we have Fire Breath coming from the God of the Katana. You think One Punch Man cares about a little bit of fire? I don't think so. The Fire Breath has ceased. Red Vic... 
What? Honestly, why did he die? One Punch Man hasn't even thrown a punch. Did you just give up? Did the god of the katana just perform seppuku? Finally, a moment I have been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen, this is the god of monkeys! Holding on to two giant pieces of broccoli, he is a banana man with a monkey face and he's huge! Saitama, you might finally lose this day. The fight commences. Monkey Man uses a fire breath weapon. The dark hands of God grasp Saitama and they throw him back. They're keeping him under control. Maybe these dark peasant hands can do the job of defeating One Punch Man. No, the super serious punch just killed the monkey god. Somebody please make a more powerful god, please. Here we have the god of deaths. And what is happening? What is floating above his head? This is the first god we downloaded complete with the blades from that modded unit by Grad. Can this god with his crazy floating abilities defeat Saitama? The fight starts. Slow mode is activated. Consecutive normal punch it. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. The god is clearly dead, but why does the fight continue? Is there a, a floating? Yo, what is this ability? What is going on? What is this ability? Is this a modded ability in the workshop? Look at the blue and black blades going into Saitama. I've never seen this ability before. The fight continues. Saitama is dodging the attacks. And now there, there are insane abilities going on. Whoa, whoa, the god just yeeted himself off the map. Goodbye, god, red victory. Those were modded abilities, and even modded god abilities is no match for One Punch Man. Welcome to the world of Egypt. Saitama is here against god. Um, Goku is so strong, he is hulking out of his clothes. Can god Goku defeat Saitama? Fight commences. Goku with the multiple multiple laser blasts. I have Kamehameha of two and Saitama is completely ignoring it. He's just advancing at regular walking speed. So right now Goku is too far away to use consecutive punches but not far enough away to use serious punch. We're at a really weird up. Oh, never mind. Sandstill is over. Consecutive normal punches punches out all of Goku's blood. This god is called God Mode. He looks simple. He looks weak. And I'm hoping that he's more than meets the eye. All right, God Mode, let's see what you've got. Please tell me you're going to throw crazy amounts of shur shur shurikens. There we go. Multiple fire. Nope. Hold on. Is that Saitama's blood? Did you make Saitama bleed his own blood? Say hello to the God of Death. What an absolutely gorgeous specimen. But I get the feeling he's not going to beat Saitama because nothing has so far. Dark Hands of God grabbing one punch man, lifting him into the sky. You've got a solar maelstrom on the ground. But as soon as you get too close, the punches happen. Oh, this is the final fight. It is Saitama versus every single god from today's video. He has defeated them one-on-one. -on -one. Can you defeat them as a team? I hope you are ready for this one punch man. Let's start the fight. Slow mo and Saitama has already killed one of the gods. The dark peasant hands are lifting One Punch Man into the sky, causing great amount of crowd control. But Saitama is in that mass of people, and there's a <laughs> serious punch just happened. What is going on? Where is One Punch Man in this pile? Oh, I found him. I found Saitama, and he doesn't have a head again, but he still might win. Multiple gods have already been defeated and Saitama continues to slam down to the ground because of the Dark Peasant Hand units. It seems like our Monkey God is one of the last ones to live, as well as our God of Death over here. He's just kind of chilling, dragging his swords around. It seems to me that the Dark Peasant Hands are continually slamming Saitama into the ground over and over and over. Hold on, the Monkey God doesn't have a leg and a torso. <laughs> what is going on? I was like that there's like three dead Monkey Kings around everywhere. It's just hilarious. Has has anyone seen One Punch Man? S S Saitama? Hello, where'd you go? I have a funny feeling that the God shoved Saitama into another dimension through the ground. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, click one of the videos on the screen and watch more awesome content, guys. And as always, thank you very much for watching.